Hi everyone, oh, welcome back. Uh, so after two boring questions, finally we are starting with uh, the first questions. So let me share my screen and then get started. So uh, this is the first question. So if you just click on uh, the first practice question in the repository, it'll take you through the first question. So remember these uh, uh, context you need to uh, set in your exam, but in here you don't really need to um, because I'm, I'm just working on uh, uh, mini cube so uh, uh, you don't really have to uh, uh, have a huge cluster kubernetes cluster to uh, execute some of these practice questions uh, if you have mini cube that that's fine so uh, let's get started so your task you are tasked to create a secret and consume the secret in pod using environment variables as follows so the task create a secret named my secret with key value pair key two and value 10 so uh, I'm just uh, making an alias here. Uh, K equals to cube serial. So um, K create secret generic. Um, just let's copy paste so that there won't be spelling mistakes. My secret from literal equals to key to value 10 so the secret has been created now let's uh, create the pod so the pod name has to be uh, nginx secret and using the container image nginx add an environment variable exposing the value of the secret key so this uh, the name of the variable has to be test underscore variable and uh, it, it has to be the inside the pod that we're creating so what we're going to do first we'll let's use the imperative command to generate the aml file and after uh, we will just add uh, whatever um, is needed uh, inside. So I'm going to just use a command to generate first one. So kubectl um, run um, nginx secret nginx. Uh, let's just copy paste yeah. nginx secret, the name of the secret and uh, image. They haven't specified any version to the nginx. So it just the nginx. So, so dry run, dry run equals to client and uh, hyphen o output as an AML and saving it as uh, one question. It's like first question. Uh, and let's now open that uh, VI one question. And then uh, all we wanted to do is now env it, the name of the variable is what is the name of the variable is test variable and uh, where the value uh, value from so basically you will be allowed to open uh, the kubernetes uh, documentation so we can probably use a solution we can actually uh, use the kubernetes io document as well so um, Kubernetes IO docs home. So make sure you only open Kubernetes documents in the exam. So now ENV, okay, secret, right? Uh, if I just type secret, it's a configure secret, something like that you should see. Configure secret using, uh, let configure not service account. Let's just go to secret and then see if this is of much help. And uh, just like, let's type ENV, right? So if you see here, ENV, uh, the name. So basically it's the name that I've actually put it here, the value from, and then secret key reference. It's just that because the value of the um, a particular variable is referenced or retrieved from that particular key belong to that particular secret. That's what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do now, um, let's make sure the indentation is correct. Um, uh, so here the secret name that we've actually created is secret name is my secret and uh, key is key two. So uh, that's all. So so just like verify the name um, and genetic secret and uh, test variable is the name of the environment variable. 
secret key reference my secret that's good and uh, the key so key two so let's what we're going to do wq that's completed uh only the file is completed we need to apply yeah okay apply uh one question just do it'll be done so make sure that's been uh really attached to that particular secret so for that k exec let's check um the pod name is nginx secret secret hyphen hyphen just print env if you print env um, it has to uh, come see if you see now uh, test variable so it, it has the value of uh, um, the key so this dot value value 10 is what uh, they've actually asked here um, and that is what we've actually created with so this is good and successful and um, thank you so much uh, and uh, happy learning bye